Hello and welcome to Metasploit Like a Pro, where I'm going to teach you everything about Metasploit from beginner to advanced concepts. We're going to cover the uh, the course roadmap real quick. Um, basically, what are we going to be covering in this in this entire course? Um, the first section we're going to be getting started with Metasploit. So basically, uh, any prerequisites, um, what software do we need? We're going to be installing our lab environment from scratch. So if you've never done that before, don't worry. I'm going to go ahead and take you through all of that um, to Metasploit Basics. So that's when we're going to actually get into the Metasploit console and learn about the fundamentals of Metasploit, some of the fundamental commands, a little bit of history probably about Metasploit, and just kind of how to move around a little bit. Um, section three, we're going to talk about exploits, payloads, and shells. So... What's the difference between an exploit and a payload? Um, how can we use them? How do we pair them together? How do we know which ones work, which ones don't? All that types of things we'll be covering in section three. Finally, section four is going to be meterpreter functions. Meterpreter is kind of the the uh, the super shell, if you want to call it. So instead of just having a regular code execution on a machine, um, we have meterpreter, which is kind of an advanced uh, shell. Uh, it gives us download capability, upload capability, and there's tons of modules in Meterpreter that we're going to be covering, uh, which is awesome. Uh, section 5 is going to be firewalls, antivirus, and external callbacks. So firewalls, uh, the behavior of firewalls, uh, how can we interact with them? Can we disable them? Uh, what do we do about firewalls? Um, same thing with antivirus. Um, typical behavior of antivirus um, and can we do anything about it? Can we can we interact with antivirus in any way? Can we do anything to evade antivirus with our payloads? And so we're going to be talking a lot about that. External callbacks in section five there, that's going to be um, how do we set up Metasploit to go across the internet? So obviously we're all going to be on an internal network on a virtual environment and so that's a little bit different than how we would need Metasploit um, if we were actually going across the internet. So I'm going to also touch on that and also something called uh, redirectors. Section six is going to be privilege escalation and persistence. So for, um, for pri privilege escalation, obviously, once we get on the machine, are we a normal user or are we administrator? And um, how are, uh, what are some of the different um, options that we have to try and uh, escalate or elevate our privileges? Persistence, that is going to cover how do we maintain a connection. Uh, so once the person turns off their machine, our, our victim machine, once they turn that off and they restart it or reboot it, whatever it is, obviously we're going to lose our connection. But can we maintain a connection after they restart? So we're going to go over several different persistence techniques. And then finally in Section 7, lateral movement. Uh, lateral movement is going to be uh, once we're on a machine, how can we move? How can we move around to different machines once we have our initial foothold? Uh, pivoting, so same thing. Um, can we pivot through um, other machines to get to different environments? Um, so we're going to talk about that and some common practices. So we'll move on to the next slide here. Some prerequisites. Uh, VirtualBox. Um, we, you can also use VMware, uh, but I for this course, if you want to follow along exactly like I'm doing it, I'm going to uh, recommend VirtualBox, uh, 6 gigabytes of RAM, 15 gigabytes of storage space. We're going to be using Kali Linux. Um, you can download the ISO or the virtual appliance. Um, I kind of would rather import the virtual appliance. It's a little bit easier to set up, a little bit faster in my opinion, but it's up to you. Uh, Windows XP, Windows 7, and Windows 10, which is going to be optional. Uh, it's very tough sometimes to find Windows images online anymore. Um, and so ISO River was a website that I was able to find recently, at least uh, filming this course, and that uh, you could actually go and still download um, your Windows images from them. So Windows XP, um, if you're thinking why Windows XP, um, yes, Windows XP is very old, <laughs> um, but it is a great fundamental learning tool that we can use with uh, or in conjunction with Metasploit. Because it's so old, it's so vulnerable, um, just to learn the basics and fundamentals of Metasploit, it's a great it's a great operating system to learn Metasploit with. But for the most part of the course, we'll probably be in Windows 7. All right, some additional information. Um, this course is super beginner friendly. Um, I have a very relaxed teaching style. I want everybody to be comfortable. Um, obviously, it's go at your own pace, so that's that's awesome. Um, please take notes. Uh, we're going to be covering a lot of material. There is a ton of material in this course. And obviously, it, it, you know, if you go through a course one time, it's, it's 
you know, it's all about how, how much can you retain. And uh, you might have heard, you know, if, like if you're in a class, if someone's teaching you something, you only return a certain percentage of information that they that they tell you. So it's all about repetition. I, I'm a big believer of hands on. Um, so n we're not going to have too much PowerPoint. I promise it's going to be mostly hands on and I'm going to guide you through the whole thing. So that's awesome. Additional resources for practice, uh, Voln Hub and Hack the Box. Those are kind of some extra uh, curricular activities that you can do afterwards, kind of fun little challenges. And we're also going to follow the same process and phases of a penetration test. So pre-engagement, reconnaissance, exploitation, post-exploitation. Different people have different theories on what that is, but that's my theory. That's kind of what we're going to follow. And so uh, let's go ahead and jump right in.